This is Christ Living Spring Apostolic Ministry Club, where the power of God works miracles through the hands of the anointed man of God, Pastor Wale Oladin, the senior pastor, as he ministers salvation, deliverance, and healing. Prayers, they say, is the master key, but you must pray with understanding through the word of God and the reality of your new creation to defeat the enemies of your soul. Your life will not remain the same as you listen to this life-changing message. Thank you and remain blessed. Let somebody shout a big hallelujah. A big, 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 big hallelujah. A glorious hallelujah. Miracle provoking hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How was your night? Tell someone I'm good. Whatever you say is your portion. Tell someone. I'm good. I want you to put a fist. Say, I'm good. Oh, Shakos, you know your fear. This is it. Amen. Amen. Can we just sing to just bless the name of the Lord for all that he has been doing for the past three days. For using his chosen servant for us greatly on this mountain, touching the whole world. I want us to bless God and dance this morning and make sure you dance out of your seat. Are you ready? For all that you have done, I will sing hallelujah. For all that you are doing, I will sing hallelujah. For all that you will you have done for the past three days, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, to you be all the glory for your chosen servant who have brought to be a blessing unto the nations. Thank you, Lord. We ascribe greatness forward dominion to your majesty. Hallelujah. Be thou exalted. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Exodus chapter 12 verse 23. Exodus 12 23. For the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians. And when he said the blood upon the lintel and the two cyposts, the Lord will pass over the door. He will not suffer the destroyer to come into our houses to smite us. Amen. I make a decree upon Lagos State. That destroyers will not come to destroy Lagos in the name of Jesus. Amen. We shall not be smitten in Lagos. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want us to say a very loud amen to this proclamation. We forbid kidnapping in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Amen. We forbid abuse on young girls in the name of Jesus. Amen. The theory guys kidnapped in Babinti Macaulay Junior Seminary. We make a decree in the name of Jesus between now 
and this time next week, Lord, release them by your power. Amen. Release them by your power. Amen. Release them by your power. Amen. The angels of the Lord who excel in strength, who hearken to the voice of the command of the Lord. Angels of the Lord who specialize in releasing people from captivity. Under the control of Holy Spirit, our comforter, our counselor, our advocate, our strengthener, our helper, our intercessor, our teacher. Let them go now. Where the three guests may be. Let them bring them out in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we agree on this altar and as we agree as a body of Christ, joining our faith with the Anglican communion, that miraculously this three guests shall be released. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we legislate the decree in the realm of the spirit that as the Lord lives and his spirit lives, in the name of Jesus, the hands of the Almighty God, we bring them out miraculously. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. so shall it be. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pray for every family, wherever you may be, the destroyer will not visit your home. Amen. In the name of Jesus, for everyone who says amen, destroyers will not enter your homes. Amen. They will not visit your work. Amen. They will not visit our work. Amen. They will not visit our church. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I make a decree in the name of Jesus that strangers will not visit our homes. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May I request that we say very loud amen to Nahum 2-2 that emptiers and wasters will not visit us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Will not visit us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Merciless attackers, attackers that don't have mercy, will not visit us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Physically and spiritually, they will not visit us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Assassins and armed robbers, spiritually and physically, will not visit us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For someone who can say a very loud amen, wasters will not come to your homes. Amen. Wasters will not wait us. Amen. We not waste our children, Amen. we not waste our spouses, Amen. we not waste our lives Amen. to the glory of God. Amen. The name of the Lord, Orukalua, is a strong tower. He lay sure We the righteous we run into it. Our Lord do our and we are saved. I see ye. I decree in the name of Jesus, every family saying amen. Enter into the strong tower. Amen. In the name of God the Father, amen. the Son, amen. and the Holy Ghost. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name I prophesied. Amen. 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 In Jesus name. Put your hands together for the Lord and be seated. God bless you. Good morning ladies and gentlemen once again. Good morning sir. Thank God for what God is doing. We are having barrage of prayers on this mountain the past three days, and it continues tomorrow. Oh, Lord, say to me, jam your hands together for the Lord. I fear for people who cannot pray and who don't pray. But when God enables you to pray, no shaking. Tell your neighbor, no shaking. Our monthly, oh, Lord, say to me tomorrow, 7 to 10. Let's keep praying. Let's continue to pray and never be tired. Continue to pray. And never be tired. We're having two major sessions tomorrow by the grace of God. If the coming of the Lord tarries, anointing for manifestation and anointing for healing grace. Creative miracles. Make sure you are, you are here tomorrow by the grace of God so that your joy can be full in Jesus' name. We thank God for what God has been doing in the ministry of Pastor Leke Sanusi. We thank God for his wife. Thank God for his wonderful and handsome boys. We thank God for what God is doing in our CCG all over the world. If you are celebrating, that's how they will celebrate with you. We thank God for what God is doing in Victory House, Old Kent Road, London. We thank God for this apostle of prayer God has raised, an itinerant prayer revivalist, walking back to back by the grace of God. May I, at this junction, salute all the servants of God in-house and all the servants and handmaids of God watching online. I see many of you there. God bless you, Pastor Fatula. See you this morning. God bless you. You are welcome. Pastor Elo, thank you. God bless you. 
Echoes Ministry, God bless every one of you. Brother Femi, God bless you. Every one of you, you are welcome. Apostle Dele Johnson, my twin brother. A great servant of God. I appreciate every one of you. You are welcome in Jesus' name. What can we say than to thank God when God is raising a new crop of prayer by two souls? People who are committed in the prayer corridor. Now, when we are talking of prayer, we are talking of word enriched prayers, heavily word based prayers. The expositions for the past two days have been so marvelous. They are marvelous. And we want to bless the name of the Lord for revelations. As a matter of fact, yesterday I was able to get just eight prayer bulletins from the teachings yesterday alone. And I've started developing them. You will see them very soon. Because I'm a learner and I'm learning. I want to bless the name of the Lord for this great brother of mine, a pastor, a prophet, someone trained by God as a barrister and a lawyer who was called into the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ in 1997. He, God has enabled him to be faithful and he will enable him the more. He is the one God has put to superintend over his inheritance in Victory House, London. Currently, he oversees 17 nations under RCCG Europe 2 with the headquarters in Spain. After this prayer meeting, he's going for prayer earthquake in Spain. So we need to be praying for him on daily basis. And I'm trusting the Lord just the way God has raised that eight-year-old saxophonist that God will raise more prayer priests, boys and girls, all Amen. over the nations. Amen. So that in all the corners of the world, we'll be hearing prayers. So that the devil will be in problems permanently. Amen. For the glory of God. Amen. Thank God for what God is doing in his life. He's an avid reader. A very prolific author. He has written so many books. Command your star. Command your fruitfulness. Command your enlargement. Your deliverance and miracles. Two of the books are here. And I'm sure that we will not allow him to take anyone back. And his tapes and DVDs. With him to minister to us. Uh, the following people, Pastor Sheikh Musala, God celebrate him. Eh, Quater one two. Pastor Wale on on Thank you, God bless you, Sister Pata de Yema. Pastor Kaya de Salako. I have one of the elders in Victory House here. He's seated there. Why I recognize the man? One day he was there to come and take the offering. And he said, could you please open your Bible to the book of Elder? Chapter Elder verse Elder. <laughs> According to the Proverbs of the Elders. Celebrate him. He's the Elder in victory house. God bless you, sir. And all other servants of God with the servant of God, we thank God. May the Lord honor you all in Jesus' name. And hope you know that today is going to be wow. wow. Are you here with your green card? Yes, please, where is my green card? Oh, pastors, if you don't have green card, you better, uh, uh, oh, yes, show your green card. You know, when you have green card, what do you say? Pass. You won't receive red card. Yeah. Eh? You will give the devil the red card. Yeah. But when you, when you are at the gate of breakthrough, what will you receive? Yeah. Raise your own now. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So, get ready as God in his power ministers through God's chosen servant. Join me in, in welcoming Pastor Leke Sanusi. Put your hands together for the Lord. God bless you. Amen. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done unto the Lord. Be the glory. Great things he has done unto the Lord. Be the glory. Great things he has done unto the Lord. Be the glory. Great things he has done. Great things he has done. Greater things he will do 
to the unto the Lord. He that glory, great things he has done. Great things he has done. Wonderful things he will do to the unto the Lord. He that glory, great things he has done. Great things he has done. Miraculous things he will do today unto the Lord. He that glory, great things he has done. Oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name. Worship him, magnify him, the God of absolute possibility, with whom nothing can ever be too difficult. He's worthy, he's holy, he's mighty, he's the man of war, 
be consuming fire. The Lord that rideth upon the wings of the wind, the Lord whose name is Jah, who is like unto our God, who can compare with him. He reigneth in the heavens and on the earth beneath. His all is worthy. He maketh the heavens his throne, and the heart his footstool. He speaks the word and it comes to pass. No one can say to him, What dwest thou? The commander in chief of the armies of the heavens and the whole earth put together. We worship our maker, our savior, our redeemer, our comfort, our shield, our buckler, our hero, our husband, our bridegroom, our best friend. His name is Jesus, higher than any other name. I'd like you to shout Jesus. Jesus. Shout Jesus. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome your neighbor or say neighbor. I welcome you to Resurrection Day. I welcome you to Restoration Day. I welcome you to Recovery Day. I welcome you to Revival Day. I welcome you to Possibility Day. Glory be to God. Please be seated. God bless you. Hallelujah. Again and again, I give honor to whom honor is due. So I'd like you to join me to honor and celebrate our beloved daddy and mommy in the Lord, the set man and set woman of this great mountain of God. Our pursue and mommy, Wale Oladiyo. We celebrate you, sir. We celebrate you, man. God bless you. The joy of the Lord is your strength. May you go from strength to strength, from glory to glory, as you appear before God in Zion. You will never be weak nor weary. As your days are so, shall your strength be. Your eyes will never go dim. Your natural forces will never obey. May you see the children of your children to the fourth generation. And as your children, all of us together with you, we will reign with Christ in eternity. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. We celebrate you, dad and mom. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. We celebrate all our beloved elders. May the Almighty God continue to anoint you more and more. All your prayers for us, your children, will be answered speedily, hastily, and quickly. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. age will never weary you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, your youth will be renewed like the eagles. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. All those who aspire to become elders like myself, we celebrate you all. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your glory will vibrate. Amen. And your joy will ring aloud. Amen. The whole world will join to celebrate the grace of God upon your life. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all richly and thank you for uh, accepting me just as I am, this little me, and also receiving the word of God with gladness. God Almighty will make you glad till eternity. Amen. I celebrate my beloved brother and pastor. God bless you, Pastor. I celebrate you. Your voice will never be stolen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Celebrate this beautiful, anointed, best of the best choir. God bless you. God bless you. We celebrate Omar Ubojo. God bless you. All musicians, you are the minstrel of the Lord. Glory unto glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Celebrate our young son and brother. Timitayo, God bless him mightily. He has ministered at Vitry House in London. Amen. You can see, so our brother was correct that he's really making waves all around the world. And I know he's just starting. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Today is the day that God has been waiting for to give somebody overcoming laughter. If you are that person, I'd like you to please rise on your feet. Lift up your hand. It's okay. Using Temitayo as a point of contact. We will lift up our voices. According to Isaiah 8:18. We are 
are going to pray. I said, my father, my father, my baby, my father, make me and my children for signs and for wonders all over the world. All over the world. In the name of Jesus. Prayer. My father, my father, make me and my children for signs and for wonders. Lord, make me and my children, whom you have given me, make us for signs and for wonder, all over, all over the world, all over the world. Me suli hika toria varuska, jida levo zubra neke toria varusha, me kuta brana hika ria varuska li brana katayana. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let that amen sound like thunder. Amen. We are still praying. Exodus 19, 11. Exodus 19, 11. And let them be ready for the third day. Technical team, you have to import the New King James Version as well and add it to your list of Bible versions because that's what I, that's my own default. And let them be ready for the third day. Let them be ready for which day? Third day. What is this day? Third day. Ask your neighbor, are you ready for today? Yes, yes, I'm ready for today. Ask them again, are you ready for today? Are you fulfilling scripture? Are you ready for this third day? Are you ready for what God is about to do? We shall see. And let them be ready for the third day. For on the third day, the Lord will come down upon Mount Clam. Amen. In the sight of all the people. Amen. Are you ready for the third day? Yes, Lift up your hands to the Holy One of Israel. Say, Father, Father I am ready. I am ready for this third day. This third day. Come, down Come down upon Mount Clam and manifest your power in the name of Jesus. Come down, oh Lord, and manifest your power. Come down, oh Lord, and manifest your power. Come down, come down, oh Lord, oh Lord, and manifest your power. Come down, oh Lord, and manifest your power. Come down, come down, oh Lord, oh Lord, and manifest your power. Come down, oh Lord, and manifest your power. So can I, oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Luke 13, verse 32. Luke 13, verse 32. And Jesus said to them, Go, tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demons and perform cures today and tomorrow and the third day I shall be perfected. Yep. Any satanic agent that wants to waste your life, they shall be wasted. Amen. Jesus said, yes, we on the third day, yeah, I shall be perfect. <laughs> Is he talking about you and I? Yes, In this conference, what day is today? Yes, what did God say will happen to us? Yes, shall be perfected. Yes, 
We shall be perfected. Amen. Amen. We shall be perfected. Amen. Amen. Lift up your hands. Okay. And all your items for point of contact. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my father. On this third day. On this third day. day. Perfect all that concerns me. Perfect all that concerns me. Perfect all that concerns my neighbor. Perfect all that concerns my neighbor. Perfect all that concerns my family. Perfect all that concerns my family. Perfect all that concerns your church. Perfect all that concerns Nigeria. My father. On this third day. Perfect all that concerns us. Spiritually. Physically. And materially. In the name of Jesus. Prayer. Pray, 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 pray. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the Every concern that your children have brought to this Mount Clan on the third day, Lord, you say you will come down. Come down, oh Lord, as you have promised, and perfect all their concerns. Of. Pray this prayer very well. Pray it very well. This is your day of perfection. As Jesus prophesied, he came to pass on the third day, the grave will no longer hold him. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. On the third day, the grave could no longer hold Jesus. On the third day, the grave opened up and vomited the king of glory. I prophesy on this earth. If you will receive it with the loudest aim, every grave that has buried your star, every grave that has buried your glory, I command them by the word of the Lord to vomit them out in Jesus. To vomit them out in Jesus. On the third day, Jesus rose from the grave. He rose and rose and rose. He never returned there. He never fell down again. I prophesy on this altar every problem that followed you to climb that you have been delivered from. None of them will return to you again. Yeah. On this third day, I prophesy you rise up from the Mary clay. You rise up from the horrible pit. You will never go back. You will never go back to sorrow. You will never go back to sickness. You will never go back to poverty. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If you believe it, see, I believe it. I believe it. And I receive it. I receive with it. a powerful aim. First Kings chapter 5, verse 4. We are still praying. This is a house of prayer. And God answers prayer. Everywhere, many places that I've gone to around the world in the last two years. I told us, I told us two days ago. I also mentioned it yesterday. People come to me in all these nations. And, when your man baby and they either say to me that we were at Clam when you came. Or so we watch the program. And from that time, our lives had been transformed. You will be next in line to testify. Hey. I met some who said to me that I am here because of the encounter I had in Nigeria at Clam. 
When next I see you in America, <laughs> in Germany, <laughs> in Italy, <laughs> in Australia, <laughs> in New Zealand, <laughs> in England, <laughs> you will say to me <laughs> that the encounter that I'm now seeing <laughs> started from today <laughs> at <laughs> yeah. If that is you, say louder, Amen. 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 We are coming. First Kings chapter 5, verse 4. But now. Say, but now. But but now. now. Say, but now. But but now. I don't know about yesterday. Hey, me, I know. But let your joy in the Lord. From now on, the Lord my God has given me rest on every side. There is neither adverse nor evil of That was the testimony of Solomon. Solomon in the son of King David. May this become your testimony. This is a testimony of deliverance from the battles of the father's house. This is a testimony of deliverance from what could have become a generational transfer of affliction. Solomon said, but now, the Lord my God has given me rest on every side. No adverse. Now what you need to read to that scripture is this. Solomon was saying Solomon that unlike my father who lived a restless life of battles, internal battles, external battles, domestic battles. His son Absalom fought him. Everybody fought him. Saul fought him. Nations from all over the world came to fight him. Now he never lost any battle. But he fought too many battles. Even though God backed him up in his battle. When he wanted to build a temple for God. God said, no, you can't build it. What was the reason? God said, you have shared too much Lord. But Lord, you back me up in the battle. You gave me the victory. Because it doesn't matter. Therefore, that battle has been so much. I'm a God of rest. It's only people that have rest. That can do great projects. Oh, the man live life. He like he You cannot be running a task at all. You will do something. You need rest in life so that you can, uh, you can achieve destiny projects. Whatever is bringing restlessness to you, it will die today. Everybody. You can't be fighting war every day and be focused. You can't be fighting war everywhere and be able to send children to school up to university. You can't be fighting battles of unemployment and think about getting married as good as marriage is. You can't be fighting over those who are contending with the land that you are bought and be able to start and complete the project. Solomon said, I have been delivered from the battles that battered my father. I prophesy on this mountain the testimony of Solomon shall become your testimony. Yeah. Now I want you to pray like a lion. Lift up your voices like no, no, okay. Say the battles that battled my parents. The, 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 the wars that worried my parents. Start again. The battles that battled my parents. The war that worried my parents. I am not your candidate. Aspire forever. In the name of Jesus. Prayer. <laughs> 
In Jesus' name, we pray. In the days of Solomon, not only did he build the best and most beautiful, most expensive temples in the world, in his day, the streets of Jerusalem were lined with gold. Unlike the days of his father, when the streets of Jerusalem were lined with blood, because his father kept fighting, but in the days of Solomon, story changed to glory. Professor, that in your day and in the days of the children after you, every family story has become glory. Those who used to be the enemies of his father, they came to become his friends. They loved him. They served him. No war. Psalm 46, verse 9. Psalm 46, Psalm 46, verse 9. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cut the spear in sunder. He burned the chariots in the fire. He maketh wars to do what? To cease. Ni ojoy ni. Today. Ni on this third day. Ni ojoy keta yi. Ogun ya dok mi. That war we see. Lift up your voices. Say every war. Every war. Assigned to trouble my peace. Assigned to trouble my peace. Hear the word of the Lord. Cease today. Cease today. In the name of Jesus. Prayer. I command the world to see. In Jesus' name, we pray. When I mention a particular war, you will roar back like a lion and shout one word. That word is cease. Why against your peace? Why against your heart? Why against your marital destiny? Why against your finances? Why against your children? Why against your progress? Why against your breakthroughs? Why against your manifestations? Why against your 2016 testimony? Everyone, every side. Say see. Say it again. Say it one more time. In the name of Jesus. I want you to shout seven times. Shalom. 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 Peace be unto you. Peace be unto all those who love you. In the name of Jesus. It is done. Set forth your hands towards this altar. Nekradolos jetevrana zupra de katolia vacasata. He kradush katayana. For Samuel 2018 says, Tomorrow is the new moon, and you will be means because your seat will be empty. I decree on this altar. As you receive it with a loud amen, your tomorrow will usher in new things. New things of joy. New things of laughter. New things of celebration. In the name of Jesus, I decree on this altar that in this year 2016 and all the many, many years ahead of you, certain things will miss you. 
Sickness will miss you. Poverty will miss you. Kidnappers will miss you. Arresters of destiny will miss you. Tragedy and calamity will miss you. Wastage and destruction will miss you. Sudden death will miss you. Premature and timely death will miss you. In the name of Jesus. I decree on this altar in favor of you and your loved one. Jonathan prophesied to David. He said, tomorrow you shall be me. Because your seat shall be empty. I pray for you and as you receive with a loud that this year and in the many, many, many years ahead of you, any seat of death prepare for you and any of your loved ones anywhere in the air on the land at all abroad they shall be empty you will not sit on them in the name of Jesus the hands of Zerubbabel has laid the foundation of this house. His hands will also complete. I stand this morning before many brothers Zerubbabel and before many sisters Zerubbabel and I prophesy that the Alpha anointing to start destiny projects well, without war, without trouble. Receive it now. The Omega anointing to complete destiny projects without let and without hindrance. Without any form of disturbance. Without any form of lack of financial material resources. Receive that anointing now in the name of God. As somebody was here last year who received that anointing and gave me a world class testimony which you are going to hear before the end of this service. You have come this year about this time next year according to the time of life. May you too have received world class testimony. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree your season of new beginning. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning of it. I decree your season of better things. I decree your season of manifestation to appear and show all. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Settle. The Lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory. The Lion of Judah has broken every yoke. I receive the victory. And it shall be permanent. God bless you. Please be seated. I'm speaking today on the topic. Which is also the theme of this conference. The God of absolute possibilities. The God of absolute possibilities. He will visit you today. He has assured that he will come down on the third day. And appear before all the people. If you are not sure whether he has appeared or is appearing. You will know very soon because you are going to testify. 
is an invisible God whose works are visible to everyone that will see you from now on. The work of the miracle working God will be visible to them. Mark 10, 27. Mark 10, 27. And Jesus looking upon them said, with men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God, all things are possible. Let us pray. I give you praise, the God of all possibilities. I worship, magnify you. Thank you for day one, day two. Thank you for this third day. Thank you for all that you have done already. Thank you for all that you are doing right now. Thank you for greater and better things that you have promised to do. Receive all glory and all honor. Henceforth, my Father, my God, let every sentence, every punctuation mark of your word be accompanied with manifested signs and wonders. Amen. To the glory of God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen. We are talking about the God of absolute possibilities. Yes. Who is this God of absolute possibilities? Number one, he is not man. Tell your neighbor God is not man. Mark 10, 27. Mark 10, 27. With men, it is impossible. But not with God. That is a differentiation which makes it clear that there are men and there, there is God. And that God is not man. Numbers 23:19. Numbers 23:19. The Bible says God is not man. Who is this God of absolute possibility? Number two is the all powerful God. Is the almighty. According to Psalm 62, verse 11. Psalm 62, verse 11. Once he had spoken twice. We have asked, ah, all power belong to God. Genesis 17 11. Genesis 17 11. Makes it clear that He is the Almighty. God. Who is this God of absolute possibility? Number three, it is the God, he is the God, with whom nothing is too hard. Jeremiah 32, 17. And, and Jeremiah 32, 27. He makes it clear that nothing is too hard for him. Who is this God of absolute possibilities? He is the unquestionable God. The unstoppable God. The one that can never be in that. According to Job 9 verse 12. Job 9 verse 12. Who is this God of absolute possibility? Number five is the God that can kill and he can bring alive. According to the word of God in 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 6. 1 Samuel 2, 6. Who is this God of absolute possibility? Is the God that can open doors that no, door, that no man can open. Revelation 3, 7. Revelation 3, 7. And because you have, you have come here to meet that God, every door of breakthrough that the enemy has shot against you, against that business of yours, Against that career no, of the, yours, the God of absolute possibility, he will open them wide today. Yeah. 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 And they will never be shot again. Yeah. Yeah. Who is the God of absolute possibility? Yeah. Number seven, yeah. he is that God yeah. that can take you yeah. from zero yeah. and make you a hero. Yeah. Psalm 40, verse 8. Yeah. Psalm 40, verse 8. 
That is the God that we are talking about. Also in Psalm 40, verse 1 to 3, he makes himself known to us clearly as the one that hears your prayer. The one that can take us out of the married clay. The one that can take us out of the horrible peace. He can set your feet upon the rock and he can establish your going. That God will visit you today. According to 1 Samuel chapter 2. 1 Samuel chapter 2. If you read it from verse 6 to 8. He makes it clear that he can take a man from zero to hero. He can raise up the poor out of the door. He, he can lift up the beggar from the dungeon. And today God will set you up among princes. Who is this God? God of absolute possibility. Number A is the God that can create and he can recreate. He, he, can, re he can create and he can recreate. Psalm, Isaiah 40 verse 26. Isaiah 40 verse 26. Also, also John chapter 9 verse 6. John chapter 9 verse 6. He can take the dust and give somebody a brand new eye. That is the God of absolute possibility. He can tell a man to just go and bathe inside a particular room. And that man, even though he was in his 50s, after obeying that instruction, that man can come out of the water with brand new skin. That is the God of absolute possibility. He is the almighty God. He is the God. That that create and recreate. He is the God that can give womb where there is no womb. And make a barren woman to conceive. He is the God of surprises. He is the silencer of your mockers. He is the God that can open the file that the world had closed concerning you. He is the Lord that is able to back you up. When everyone else had back off from me, that God is the one that you have come to meet. And he will visit you today. He is the only one God. When doctors told my wife and I in England that there's nothing we can do for you to have a child, we have exhausted all medical treatment possible under the heaven. But thank God they said under the heaven. They could not go above the heavens of the heaven. We are the God of absolute possibilities dwelling. They close our fire. We turn to the God of absolute possibilities. Welcome us and say, I've been waiting for you. What man cannot do? He has exhausted all their possibilities. But he told us that my own possibilities are inexhaustible. I can turn water to fresh wine. He opened our fire and gave us two wonderful songs. The, second, the pregnancy of the second one came when there was no fallopian tube. That is the God of absolute possibility. I'd like you to shout his name, Jesus. Jesus. Rubbish the devil by shouting his name, Jesus. Jesus. Who is this God of absolute possibility? Number nine. He is immortal. Invisible. Omnipresent. 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 Om
according to 1 Timothy 1 17. According to 1 Timothy 1 17. That is the God we are talking about. Who is the God of absolute that you have come to meet today? That will not disappoint you. That we open your fire. That we do it for you. In whose name you will share testimony on this one. It's important to introduce him to you properly. So that you become very familiar with him. So that you will believe him. So that your faith can connect with his power. So that you can collect your miracle. Who is this God of absolute possible? He is number 10. Number 10 is the God of even now miracle. Somebody say even now miracle. Say it again, even now miracle. And that takes us to a very important passage in the Bible. John 11, 21 to 23. John 11, 21 to 23. Then said matter unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hast been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now. <laughs> but I know. Jesus. Jesus. If you had been here. Earlier on. My brother. Would not have died. But I know. That even now. Whatsoever that we ask of God. God will give it to you. And then Jesus replied. In verse 23. Because of the confession of matter. Because of the faith of matter. Because of the knowledge of matter. Of who the God of absolute possibility is. Jesus replied. Jesus replied. Thy brother shall rise again. Thy brother shall rise again. Because there is somebody here who believes in the God. Oh, of absolute possibilities. Because there is somebody here who knows that even now, even now, looking at their situation and circumstances, that whatever they ask in prayer, that God will do it. Because that person is here, I prophesy to you, thy business will rise again. Hey, Thy marriage shall rise again. Hey, hey. Thy children shall rise again. Hey, hey. Thy career shall rise again. Hey, hey. Thy glory shall rise again. Hey, hey. Thy star shall rise again. Hey, hey. What has been so good before? It is no longer good now. It will be better and better in the name of Jesus. For the glory of the latter house shall be greater than that of the the Lazarus that will rise again will be different from the Lazarus that died that used to live again. Why? Because the Lazarus that shall rise again, the Lazarus that shall rise again, as long as the earth remains, the name of that Lazarus shall never be forgotten. As long as the earth remains, that Lazarus, we have his name written in the book of God. You are going to rise again. You will you have your name. Yeah. You will have your glory. Yeah. You will have your achievement yeah. written yeah. in the sand of time. Yeah. In eternity, yeah. they will be reading about it. Yeah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Martha said, but I know that even now, John 11, 21 to 23, that same scripture, in another translation, it is called the voice translation. They will hear your voice. That translation says, Matter, Lord, if you had been with us, my brother would not have died. Verse 22. 
Even so, I still believe. Even so, I still believe. <laughs> Even so, I still believe. Even so, I still believe. Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord. Lord, I believe all things are possible. Lord, I believe all things are possible because Lord. Matter said, even so, I still believe that anything you ask of God will be done. Jesus said, your brother will rise to life. I prophesy to every dry bone. Even so, because you still believe, dry bone shall live again. In the name of Jesus. I love another translation of John 11, 21 to 23. The Living Bible Translation, TLB. Listen to what it says. Martha said to Jesus, Sir, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. And even now, it's not too late. It's not too late. It's not too late. Somebody shout, my case is not too late. Shout it again. Shout it again. Matter said, and even now, it's not too late. For I know that God will bring my brother back to life again. If, if you will only ask him to do so, tell your neighbor, if you will only ask him to do so, he will bring back to life that dry bone. If you will only ask him to. And Jesus Christ said, Your brother will come back to life again. Even now, miracle. The God of absolute possibility is a God of even now, miracle. Lift up your right hand to him. Say, Even now, miracles. I am your candidate. Locate me now. In the name of Jesus. Be seated. What is even now? Several all through that scripture. Mata kept saying, even now. Even now. Even now. Even now. I know. Even now. I believe. Even now. It is not too late. So what is even now? He refers to a present time. A present season. A present situation. A present condition. A present circumstance. In our life that is not palatable. Even now, this is a time that all hopes seem lost. Even now is a time that expectations appear to be cut off. Even now is a situation whereby impossibility is sinking at us. Even now is a condition that says nothing humanly possible can be done. Even now is a time that the enemy is telling us to give up on even now is that person who has been written off now. Even now refers to a condition whereby the enemy is preaching too late sermon at you. And he's making an altar call and giving you every reason why you must respond to his altar call. Even now is a time a situation of our life that is giving mockers advantage 
wanted to mock us. And they are saying, if we want to send children on errands, we should go and give birth to our own. Even now is a time of penina. Penalizing us for the crime that we have not committed. Even now is a time when mockers are saying that this man who opened the eyes of the blind why can't he heal his friend? Why did he allow his friend to die? Any power. Any power. Taking advantage of your evil now situation. To your detriment. The God of absolute possibilities. He will arise. And disgrace them. Lift up your voices in prayer. Say, oh God of absolute possibility. Arise. Mark my mockers. In the name of Jesus. Prayer. Arise. In Jesus' name we pray. Be seated. Martha believed in the efficacy of prayer. And this is a prayer mountain. I want you to believe, brothers and sisters, without any shadow of doubt, in the efficacy of prayer. Ask and you shall receive. He that asketh, he receiveth. Martha said, even now, I believe that my brother can rise again. If only you will ask. If only you will pray. If if only you will pray. I believe there is no too late with the God that answered the prayer. I believe there is no impossibility. If only men, if only women can pray without ceasing, without giving up, fervent prayer, effectual prayer, powerful prayer, of the righteous, make a tremendous power available. Wonderful power. Turn around. Power. Miraculous power. Follows prayer. On this prayer mountain, all your prayer shall be answered. First John. Five. Fourteen and fifteen. First John five, fourteen and fifteen. Now this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. I stand on this altar. Whatever you ask, whatever I ask on your behalf, you will come back to testify. Let your amen sound like thunder. Your amen was on sabbatical. Let it resume. Be seated. Even now, I still believe. Tell your neighbor, even now, even now I still believe. God can do it. Second Kings 25, 27 to 30. Second Kings 25, 27 to 30. There's a very interesting story there. A king of Judah was captured by Nebuchadnezzar and taken to Babylon. He was in prison. This king was a child of God. This king was a son of God. Beloved of God. Children of God can go through affliction in life. But their afflictions are not meant to last forever. Many may be the affliction of somebody here. But my God is set to deliver you out of them all. The king was taken to captivity in Babylon. And they imprisoned him for 37 years. The mockers were already mocking that he will die in prison. He himself had reached a situation of hopelessness. He was in what I call even now situation. Even now condition. And then something happened. Something suddenly happened. Something miraculously happened. Something unbelievable happened. At an even now time. At the time when we should give up. At the time when we say ah, it is too late. Let's read it quickly. And it came to pass in the 730th year of the captivity of Judah, king of Judah, 
in the twelfth month, on the seven and twentieth day of the month, four days to the end of the year. Four days to the end of the year. January, nothing happened. Up until November, nothing happened. He was still in prison. They were just about to shout Happy New Year. And he was telling people what is happy about And we entered the new year still in prison. Four days to the end of the year, something suddenly happened. In the name of Jesus, within 24 hours, something suddenly will happen to someone. 2016. From today, God has more than four days to do what men call impossible in your life. If you can do it in four days, to the end of the year, for somebody, say to your neighbor, My God has more than four days. I believe He will do it for me. It came to pass in the 730th year of the captivity of Joachim, king of Judah, in the 12th month of the 720th day of the month, that even Merodach, king of Babylon, in the year that he began to reign, did lift up the head of Joachim, king of Judah, out of prison. And he spake kindly to him, and set his throne above the throne of the kings that were with him in Babylon, and changed his prison garments. And he did eat bread continually before him all the days of his life. And his allowance was a continual allowance given him of the king, a daily rate for every day, all the days of his life. The God of evil now miracles. Four days to the end of the year. Seven major miracles located this day. Because of this three day revival program, before this year is over, you will count on your fingertips. Seven major miracles. Amen. When we started this program, this, when we started this message, we quoted from Luke chapter 13. We are Jesus Christ said, on the third day, I shall be perfected. Seven is a number of perfection. I repeat to you on this altar, on this third day, before 2016 is over, you will count on your t on the tips of your fingers. Minimum of seven major evil now. Miracle number one that the king experienced at a time when all hopes should be lost. At a time when everybody should give up on him. Miracle number one he received help from unexpected quarters. From unexpected quarters. Unusual, uncommon quarters. The king that imprisoned him for 37 years was King Nebuchadnezzar. God expired Nebuchadnezzar. Your Nebuchadnezzar will be sacked. Hey. He will expire. Hey. A new king came to power. His name was called Evil Meroda. The, the, the child of God in prison. Okawaleri. Oh, he was in prison. Only Mogbeo. He is in trouble. Nebuchadnezzar. Oh, Nebuchadnezzar. Kept me in prison for 37 oh, years. He has died. Oh, now Evil Meroda. Oh, Meroda. The meaning of whose name is worshiper of the devil. Oh, look at it. And it don't see a shoe. It don't see a shoe. Somebody that worships Satan. Hey, you tell me, Evil Meroda. Hey, the one that is not Evil Meroda. Officer, one from thirty-seven years. Imprisoned him for thirty-seven years. Hello, you go. Hello, I buy you. The one, he put, he put, he passed it. If you are the king and I was the king, don't mind me. What about the one in my bed? We will just say they can as well write the obituary. What can so call you a great way to own that? But it was that same Evil Meroda. So what about Meroda will be his very first year? I look in it all day. Before his first anniversary. Don't touch your joy. Before his first anniversary. Don't touch your joy. He was the one that released him oh, of out that. of captivity. God can use anybody to bless oh, you. He can, can can use a pharaoh to bless oh, you. He can use your enemy to bless oh, you. I prophesy on this earth. Oh, so Help we locate you from an spectacle. Yeah. Yeah. Your supervisor that is your best enemy today. Your almighty God will turn him to your best helper. Yeah. 
Number two miracle that happened to the king at the time when all hopes should be lost. His head was lifted out of prison. According to Psalm 3, verse 3, according to Psalm 3, verse 3, somebody's head will be lifted up this year. The third miracle that happened to him. The Bible says for the first time in 37 years he received kind, favorable words. They spoke kind words to him. The one that was rejected became celebrated. God has just decorated the name of the God of all possibilities. Of all absolute possibilities. You, the rejected of the family, you will become the elected of the whole world. In the name of Jesus. Did I not share the testimony of the Sierraonian sister with you yesterday? One thing I didn't tell you was that he showed me the picture of the father. In his full regalia. As the judge of the world. Before she asked me that, will you believe that this is my father? And she said she had, he had never spoken any favorable words. But within one week after we pray, within one week after we pray, within one week, the father that will not on his own call him, if she called the father, the father never allowed the conversation to last for more than one minute. Within one week after we pray, when the father called, it is the daughter that will say, Dad, I think I should go and sleep now. 30 minutes, the father is still speaking. One hour, the father is still speaking. Repenting and asking for forgiveness. Oh, one very the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord. Like rivers, he turned them the way he liked. All your projects, all your programs, all your applications, all your business proposals, all the contracts that are pending, some of them you have in your hand, some of them you don't have. I prophesy on this order. All those who ought to decide positively concerning those matters of yours, even if their names are called even Meroda, before 2016 is over, you will receive good news from hey, God. Number three. This king received sudden multiple promotion. His throne was set above the thrones of his colleagues. Meaning what? Four days to the end of the year. Unbelievable miracle. He pursued all those who have left him behind for tax years. He overtook all of them and he recovered. I prophesy all the years that the locust caterpillar came all the years that you have lost, all your colleagues that have left you behind, you will pursue, you will overtake, you will recover all in the name of Jesus. You become the envy of those who left you behind. When I accepted Jesus, I began to preach the gospel. I had people who mocked me. Leke must be crazy. What's wrong with him? The hope of the legal profession. Just as he could have shortly been made the senior advocate of Nigeria. And they were right. Because the grace of God, even though I was an unbeliever, moved me speedily in my career. I was one of the youngest special assistants in a bachelor regime. I was rising very fast. Both as a lawyer. The very first year of 
Oh, my very first year in legal practice. When I left the law school, I was already on pages of newspaper in Nigeria. Because my boss then, late chief Ganifaimi of Blessed he saw a potential in me. He pushed me to celebrated cases. Strong political cases. First year in legal practice. These things are on record. I argue cases against giants like late chief Evare Williams. I want to for many like that. I want celebrated cases. But suddenly, you know, arrested me for and people mourned. They laughed. What, 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 went, what went wrong with him? Is he mad? I'd rather be mad for crying. Because I know he's able to turn my ridicule to miracle. 18 years after I left it all, I began to advocate and solicit for Jesus. I stand on this altar to testify to the glory of God. I have pursued. I have overtook. I have recovered. All. Come on, shout hallelujah! Last week, Saturday, the one before them, to the glory of God, I stood, not as a lawyer, as a pastor, to speak to wives of governors, wife of the president, vice president, of this country. Proclaim Jesus. Today. And ask them to pray with me that we should all surrender the government of Nigeria to our Lord Jesus Christ. Is all of is there. What else can I ask? For? Tell your neighbor Jesus is sweet. Jesus. He will help you recover all. What happened to this king? Four days to the end of the year. Number five. His garment changed. Your garment will change. He donned the prison garment. He wore royal garment. Number six. He received material provisions for life. For life. Provision meant provision. For life. His storehouse was never empty. Again. As God empties all your emptiness, He will fill your bands with unstoppable harvest. Number seven. This king received the miracle of financial. Provisions for life, it was settled for life. God will settle you for life. All the above happened to the king the same year. In fact, four days to the end of the year, God has many more days left this year to settle somebody. If you are the one, say, He will settle me. And scripture is behind you. First Peter 5 10. First Peter 5 10. But the God of all grace, who had called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered a while, you will not suffer forever. Amen. It's only for a while. Amen. He will make you perfect. Amen. Ah, your amen is, is, is on one leg. Amen. He will make you perfect. Amen. He will establish you. Amen. He will strengthen you. Amen. And he will say, Rise up and shall say, Oh Lord, say to me. Say to me today. Say to me this year. In the name of Jesus. Jesus' 
Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Be seated. I want to close with two testimonies. Listen carefully. And after that, we we'll go to the anointing very quickly. And then the green, the green car. I hope you still have your green car. If there's someone who is here for the first time today who does not have a green card, someone who has brought two or three, she will please borrow them a vessel and give them one. <laughs> Last year, 2015, 2015, as of January of that year, that year, a young man whom I call a son in the Lord at our church wanted to get married to a sister. And they prayed. Once he graduated, he started counseling. They they the, the, to the parents of the lady. Once he the, 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 the father wasn't supportive of it. The father wasn't happy. Although he didn't say it. But I know a bit of the reason. If I'm a parent too, I think I will tend, except if God helps me, I will tend to want to think the way the father does. What was this, their situation? This brother had no paper in England. in England. And it over The person he wants to marry. Oh no, anyway. That one, no paper. Two did gave four. Two did not even cut four. So if I was the father of the lady, I too would I don't we want to celebrate. Let let ah, I don't say you should you know. Worry, oh, anyway. You no paper. No. You can also pray. Yeah, you know, for God to give you someone that has but these two young Christians are and, and they were persuaded that God wanted them to become husbands. So they continue to pray. By faith, they fixed their wedding for April of last year. As at January, the parents of the bride had not agreed. The brother decided to do something. The book commanding 2015 was out then. He took that, our book that he wrote, declared a 49-day fast for himself. And he said, on the 50th day, we do thanksgiving. The, the book has seven chapters. So he dedicated one day to each chapter. So at the end of seven days, on the eighth day, we go back to chapter one. So he did seven times seven. Double perfection. He did, it, he did the prayer and fasting with the book seven times in 49 days. 50 a day, he did thanksgiving for himself. And he said, this is my jubilee. He declared personal jubilee of the when he finished the program. In fact, while the program was going on, the father of the bride called him sometimes around February and said, now you can marry my daughter. They will change their minds. Those who have decided against your destiny will change their minds. You can marry my daughter. And the boy said, I'm expecting that. God has told me, they continue to plan. To the glory of God. They got married. Husband, no paper. Wife, no paper. But both of them continue to declare. Their jubilee season has started. Even with no paper. This brother was not lazy. Some people go abroad, they say, because I don't have paper, they are giving excuses. I can't do anything. I can't work. I don't have paper. I don't know anybody. I, nobody is helping me. They suffer from the disease of excusitis. But this brother gave himself no excuse. He studied accounting here. Even with no paper in England, he continued to do excuses. January this year, second week of January, he qualified as a chartered accountant. No, no paper in England. He can't even apply for job as accountant. December last year, December last year, somebody phoned the wife from here in Nigeria and said, I have a company in England. 
I've tried to apply for you to get paper so that you can work in that company. And they turn you down. Even though I did not tell you, I have just opened another company. It's a oil and gas company. I have opened another company. In the oil rich city of Australia. The city is called Pat. Pat. In Australia. And she said, I didn't tell you. But I've started the process of getting you permanent residence in Australia. So that you can head my company. I don't have all the time. But I stand on this altar. As I speak to you, both of them are in part Australia. Permanent residents of Australia. One of the biggest and richest countries in the whole world. At a time when all of us were lost, God Almighty showed up. Even as a chartered accountant, permanent jobs are now begging the brother. In, in Australia. In Australia. All the years that they have lost. Within one year. Recovery is certain. I prophesy. Help we locate you. Hey, from unexpected quarters. Hey, I told you two testimonies. And I will be done. Listen to this second one. Very important. The Bible said the testimony of Jesus yes, be is the spirit of prophecy. And that's the reason why I give testimony. So when I tell you what Jesus has done for some people, the Bible said it is the spirit of prophecy. That, that testimony of what Christ has done is prophesying to yourself. And if God can do it for that person, you will do your own. And there are at least 300 people here. Before the end of 2016, my God will do your own. Amen. If you are amongst them, shout a louder. Amen. December. December. 2015. Or December 2015. December 2015. Just a few months ago, oh, so I decided to celebrate Christmas with my family in, in Dallas, US. So on Christmas Day, I didn't want to preach. I just wanted to go to a friend's church and worship with my family. So we went there, we sat down on Christmas Day 25th of December. We had a good Christmas service. The service ended and we were going to my friend's Office. office. Then a couple ran and followed me to my friend's office. See, if it's in my office, the sister heard the hem of my garment. She said, Pastor Leke, Pastor Leke, Pastor Leke. I never knew I would meet you here. Glory be to God. Pastor Leke. Lord, Lord. I have testimony to share. Ah, Pastor Leke, I hope you have time for me. Pastor Leke, I need at least one hour to share my story. I I don't have have one hour, my sister. I'm here to rest with my family. But I love testimony. Can you make it as brief as possible? She said she will try. I said, what's your testimony? She said, Pastor Leke. March. This year. That was that year, 2015. No, I said December 25. March 2015. I was in Clam. Are you here? So are you here? Tori Ongba mi mo she saw it. She's listening now. Is I was in class. Mo wa ni class. So ori bi ti ma ti ba opopolopo yin pade. Do you know what I'm going to meet you? Let you be beggar ni o. You be yanu ni o. Place of testimony. You be leri ni o. Place of promise. March 2015. I was in clan. At the three days revival. Pastor Leke. 
I keyed into many prophetic words that you made. One of them was that many will complete destiny projects this same year. That many destiny projects are marital in nature. She said the day you call the singles forward. Marital destiny projects that have been hanging in your life yes, shall be completion. She said, I was among the first to jump out. When you call for 70,000 seed of perfection, I was among the first to jump out. He said, I didn't care who was looking. I knew what was what I was going to do. She said, Pastor Leke, I, for the past 15 years, I've been doing chief bridesmaid for, for people. Dimension here to Leo. That is another like, oh, lay, is See, another I've been doing chief bridesmaid for people. But I've, right, never, yeah, I've never been able to invite anyone to do but that. Because no man. And when a woman tells you that for 15 years she's been doing cheese bride's Oh, she's she already a woman for a woman in the logo. Wow, we'll be talking boy. You'll be looking where she has been coming edgy. from. That it has been a long journey. She said, Pastor Leke. Only oh, Pastor Leke. The story of my life me. has been a story of delay. Oh, today it is of, of, of denial. Of closed doors. At the like authority. Everywhere I turn. Where it is given to me, but she said that March 2015. The story was still the same. Where it announced me back. That was my condition. But that three-day program, I prayed like a wounded lion. I kid into every person. So not many days after, my miracle started. I prophesied to somebody. Not many days after today, your miracle will start. Like King Joachim, like in the same 2015, yeah, do 2015. this sister experienced seven major miracles that somebody here will also count on the tips of your feet. Yeah. Miracle number one, she said to me, that same 2015, yeah, do 2015 doors of international travel open to her for the very first time in her life. For the very first time in her life. To leave the shores of Nigeria. Miracle number two. She got a visa to travel not just to anywhere but to the most powerful country in the world. United States of America. Listen. Miracle number three. Said I sat much of that year. When I came to class, no man had ever proposed. But not many days after, a Nigerian American citizen, a Nigerian who has also become a citizen of America, proposed to her that he wanted to marry her by force, by fire. And he's also a child of God. That same year, I took a picture with her and the husband. I hope you can bring it up for me. Yes, for, for, for personal reason, you can say I blood, I just asked them to blood the, the face of the husband and the wife. But, but that's the couple. She was here. Oh, Oh, And if that person you are looking is here now, she has a testimony in next year. Yeah. If Jesus tarries, share your testimony. If the Lord tarries, miracle number four. That same 2015, 2015, they got married. One take be Miracle number five. That same year, 2015, she moved from visitors. Visa status. She became a green card holder in America. The same year. The same year. The green card that took some people. 18 years. To receive. A sister had come to me for prayer before. In America. That she has been in America for 18 years. With 
wrote no paper. We prayed for her. Three months after, her green card came. But the point I'm making from there is this. At least I've known somebody who was in America for 18 years. And did before she could get green card. But somebody came to Clam last year. Was at this same program about this time last year. With no visa. No visitor's visa. And the same year, she became American green card. Queen. About this time next year, according to the time of life, testimony of accelerated promotion shall proceed from your mouth. In the name of Jesus. How many miracles did I say she received? How many have I mentioned? Five. Miracle number six. That same year, bring up the picture. That same 2015, she got pregnant. She got pregnant. That same year. That same year. God of absolute possibility. Who is able to recover lost years? How many miracles did I say she testified of? How many have I mentioned? How many have I mentioned? She told me. When I just kept on saying, ha, 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 ha. When I say, ha, she said, Pastor Kutita. When I say, ha, Pastor Kutita. It's not yet over. And she now said, mother of all testimony. Said, Pastor Leke. Only Pastor Leke. Pastor. Pastor. The God of Clam. The God of Wale Oladini. This pregnancy that you are looking for. I'm carrying two boys. I'm carrying two boys. For your shame, you shall have double. For confusion, you shall rejoice. In the land, you will possess the double. In the nations of the world, you will possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto you. In the name of Jesus. Be seated. What must I do? To connect the God of absolute possession. I will soon come to your green card in your hand. I'm landing somewhere. We have reached cruising level. We have left cruising. We're about to land. We shall land safely. Glory awaits you when we land. So don't rush. What do I do? To connect the God of absolute possession. Very quickly, one minute. Number one, surrender your life to Jesus. Number two, don't give up on God. And don't give up on yourself. You are a loaded miracle. Waiting to explode for the whole world to see. Number three, believe and don't stop believing for a change. For a change. Things will not remain the way they are forever. Job said, all the days of my appointed life, I will wait until my change comes. His change came. Your own will come. In spite of the evil now situation that you are Number four. Live to please God. Let God have every cause to delight in you. Be an obedient child of God. Number five. Serve God without ceasing. Serve him without complaining. 
Serve God with si, joy. Pelu ayo. Number six. E Pray to God. Badura, si Praise God. Without season. Lai ni, Pray always. Badura, ni, Praise God at all times. Even when things seem to be getting worse as you are praying, Pray, pray the more. Go, da, Sometimes it gets worse before it gets better. Go to buru, si, the, the devil and his, and, his, and his course will fight you when they know that you are about to break through. But if you don't give up, they will give up on you. And any power that will not give up over your case, before 2016 is over, they will give up the ghost. Number seven, what do I do to connect and collect from the God of absolute possibility? So seeds of possibility. So seeds of possibility. In time, in talent, and in treasure. Genesis 26 12. Impossible to prosper in farming. Impossible to prosper in family. But Isaac sowed seed of possibility. He, he, he prosper. He prosper. First Kings chapter 17 verse 13. First Kings 17 verse 13. How, do I, how should a woman give her last meal when there was no hope of getting another one? But she sowed it as a seed of possibility. And she never lagged again for the rest of her life. Luke chapter 5. He had toyed all night and caught nothing. But he sold his boat to Jesus as a seed of possibility. And what happened? A divine turnaround. That sister told me that she jumped out without any hesitation when the opportunity came for her to sow it. A sister told me in Houston, January this year, Houston, January this year, she came to me and said, Pastor Leke, when you came last year, January, for the Houston prayer conference, I thank God for your life. I thank God who answers prayer. She said that year, I sold like I never sold before. I took five thousand dollars and I was just sold. So one of my destiny projects is I believe God to be married. And I've been waiting for years. Said so Pastor Leke, look at my finger. I saw an engagement ring. Something was shining like sparkling. Only look at this. He said Pastor Leke, I make my boast in the Lord. This engagement ring cost five times the, the five thousand dollars that I spent. Five thousand dollar worth of engagement. I said, "Who gave you?" Only my own Boaz. Only Boaz. I share the testimony of Boaz. Said, my own Boaz. In the name of Jesus. The God of absolute possibility. He will visit you now. If you are ready for him, rise up on your feet. I'm serving a God of miracles. I know. Yes, I know. I'm serving a God. This service in 15 minutes. Just bear with us, please. Please bear with us. Forgive. Do you still love me? Thank you. Thank you. Now, two sets of people. The Lord asked me to come to call very quickly. Number one, you want to give your life to Jesus. And know him as your Lord and your Savior. And be dedicate your life to him. And become a committed believer. A stronger believer. A fervent believer. And you want me to pray for you. Anywhere you are. If you reach the altar. Come now. Second category. 
the wind of trouble had blown against you. Even though you are a Christian, but you are being forced to chase or to pursue alternative because of the trouble you are going through. It's too much. The enemy has been moving you here and there. You have had to be consulting things here and there. White garment today, red garment tomorrow. They are all liars, I'm telling you the truth. But God has brought you to climb today because he wants to give you brand new beginning. Anywhere you are, if you are in that category, I want you to come, I want you to come. Anyone that desires to know my Jesus, irrespective of who you are, I thought I was doing well as a lawyer. I thought I had everything. But Jesus is sweeter and better. I had tried the occult before. I had tried anything. I was born a Muslim, raised a Muslim. I know what I am saying. If I know what belongs to Jesus, I'm talking from experience. 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 I'm telling you the absolute truth. But there is darkness and there is light. And when light comes in, darkness must give up. Darkness must give up. I said darkness must give up. Jesus is the answer. Come now and know him. Accept him. He's a God of possibility. Everybody should be patient for these children, these saints to be that are coming to come. The most important miracle here today is already happening now. Salvation of soul, rededication of soul, back unto the Lord. Begin to pray for them. If you are a lover of Jesus and you are sure of your salvation, patiently pray for this brethren. If you need to be in front, don't be at the bar. If you need to be standing here, don't stand in the congregation. Come, 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 come. come. Only Jesus can say Hallelujah. Only Jesus can say Hallelujah. Babala woke and not safe. Babala woke and not safe. Only Jesus, only Jesus can say. I believe only Jesus can say. Babala woke and not safe. Alleluia. Babala woke and not safe. Only Jesus. Only Jesus can say. Hallelujah, woman that cannot say, Only Jesus, only Jesus can say, Hallelujah, only Jesus can say, Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we have confessed it, only you can save. Save all your children. Make them your sons and your daughters from now. Amen. Forgive all their sins and all our sins in this congregation. Have mercy, O God. Write the names of your children in the book of life. Silence the devil with your blood. Concerning every accusation against them. And against all of us here. Amen. From today, begin to use every one of them mightily for your glory. Amen. This same year, I pray. Specifically for all these, your children. In fact, within 60 days from today. Give every one of them standing in front. Major, major testimony. That will make them know. More than ever before, that they have met Jesus at Clam today. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. If you follow your right hand side, your right hand side, from today, everything right will begin to happen for you. Amen. Follow your right hand side, you will see the banner of the counselor. Shall we begin to clap for Jesus? They will see you for a minute or two. Don't worry, you will join us with your green card. I will not proceed with the green card prophetic exercise. 
without you. They will just spend two minutes with you and you will be bad. You will be bad. While we are waiting for them, let's fire a couple of prayer arrows onto the heavenlies. Are you for that, brethren? Yes, sir. Rise up on your feet. Just jump up on your feet. Glory be to God. First and foremost, praise God with whom nothing is too late. Just give him praise. Give him thanks. Thank him, bless him, celebrate I Jesus. Alone, totally Thank you, Lord. Go. With you, nothing is too late. So, I give so you praise. You I bless your name. I glorify you. I exalt you. I lift you up. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Now lift up your two hands and pray. Say, my Father, my Father. My Father, my I Father. I believe oh, that with you, that with all, you. Things all things are possible. Are possible. Today, Today, visit my case. Visit my case. Give me a divine turnaround. Turn in the name of Jesus. Name Talk of to Jesus. the Lord in prayer. Ah, I believe that, that with you, all things are Give possible. me a divine turnaround. My case is not too late, Lord. I believe, Lord. All things are possible with you. Oh, give me a divine honor. Give me a divine honor. Nesuka Telia Vara, brother Baba. Rebo Shotelia Vacatalia, Borosso Tolia Vacataya. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. All the miracles of that king happened before the end of the year. All the miracles of that sister happened before the end of the year. Seven miracles will happen to you before the end of this year. And I want you in seven seconds. To pray those seven miracles to performance and reality in your life. <laughs> Lift up your hands quickly, number one. Say, Father. Father. Before the end of this year, before before the end of this year send help to me. Send send help to me. me. From unexpected quarters. From from unexpected quarters. quarters. In, the in the name of Jesus. Father. 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 Before the end of this year, end of this year. Lift, up Lift up my head. Lift up my head. Above my enemies. Above my enemies. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Father. Father. Before the end of this year, change my garment. Give me brand new garment. In the name of Jesus. Father. Father. Before the end of this year. Speak mercy. Speak mercy. Speak grace. Speak grace. Speak favor. Speak favor. To all my situations. To all my situations. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father. Father. Before the end of this year. Before the end of this year. Command multiple miracles. Command multiple miracles. Command multiple promotion. Command multiple promotion to locate my head. To locate my head. Father, before the end of this year, bring a total end. Bring a total end to all forms of lack. To all forms of lack. To all forms of failure. To all forms of failure. To all forms of setback. To all forms of setback. To all forms of delay. To all forms of delay. To all forms of barrenness. To all forms of barrenness. In every department of my life. In every department of my life. And number seven, my father, my father. My father, my father. Before the end of this year. Before the end of this year. As you said to that king, as, as you said to that king, as you said to that my sister, as you said to that sister, sister, before the end of this same year, certainly before the next three days revival, certainly before the next three days revival, say to me, say to me, say to my neighbor to the right, say to my neighbor to the left, say to my neighbor to the left, say to all our families, say to all our families, say to me for. Good. In the name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. It is done. Amen. I said it is done. Amen. Two more things. Bring out your oil. And as you brought the oil. I will speak two sentences. A power will enter that oil. The content will change miraculously. Thereafter, you will do something with me. I'll pray for you. Come to our green calves. I prophesy. 
over every bottle of oil here. That as an angel came to trouble the water, to steer the water, an ordinary water, turned to miracle water, and whoever entered it was instantly healed. I prophesy that the Spirit of the Most High God will enter every bottle in your hand. Yeah. Yeah. The Holy Ghost will enter this bottle. Yeah. Yeah. The Holy Spirit will steer the content. Yeah. Yeah. The Holy Ghost will trouble the liquid content. Yeah. Yeah. I decree a change of form. Yeah. Yeah. A change of content. Yeah. Yeah. A change of identity. Yeah. Yeah. Let the oil become miracle liquid. Yeah. Yeah. Anointed oil. Hey, and uh, and uh, by uh, the uh, reason of this anointing, uh, uh, right now, uh, every yoke uh, shall be destroyed uh, and every body uh, shall be removed uh, uh, in the name of God the Father, uh, uh, God the Son, uh, uh, God the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, Inside this arena, this oil will work wonders. Yeah. Outside this arena, wherever and when, whatever you use this oil, miracle testimonies will follow. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Make a sign of the cross on your head. Anoint yourself with oil. And I'm going to make seven quick proclamations to seal the anointing for absolute possibilities. As many of us as have received this anointing oil on our heads, this same year, this same month, help will locate you from an unexpected place. This same month, yes, yes. this same year, yes, yes. you will be released from every yoke yes, yes. And, yes, yes. and every bondage. Yes, yes. You are set free. Yes, yes. This month, yes, yes. this year, yes, yes. your ears will hear good news. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Kind words, yes, yes. favorable tidings yes, yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. This year, yes, yes. this month, yes, yes. I prophesy sudden promotion. Yeah. Multiple yeah. promotion yeah. to locate your heads yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. This month, yeah. this year, you shall be decorated yeah. with yeah. new garments. Yeah. This year, this month, yeah. you will see an end yeah. to every form of lack yeah. and scarcity in your life. Yeah. This month, yeah. this year, yeah. in the name of Jesus, yeah. enter into a season, yeah. into a lifetime yeah. of financial freedom. Yeah. In every area of your life, in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, set Amen. Amen. Very quickly. On the third day, Jesus said, yes, we pray. I shall Amen. be perfected. You know, I also, I shall be perfected. I Before we give our general offerings, I our tithes, I and the various of pledges, I said, yeah. pledges, I, said, yeah. I want to do something. Somebody connected with last year, you've had the testimony, and there are many like that. Time we fail us, we'll be sharing the testimony. But today, what I want to call for, very quickly before I step down, I want to ask for 70 people to join me to give a seed of perfection of 70,000. I will ask for another 70 people to come and give a seed of perfection of 50,000. I will ask for another 70 people to come and give a seed of perfection of 25,000. 70, 50, 25. If God had blessed you to give 70, you, you know you should obey. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat If he has blessed you to give 50, you know you should obey. If he has blessed you to give 25, you know you should obey. 
I don't have to call you forward in categories. Just come forward. If you are joining any of those categories, just come. Just come. Just come. And I open a 30-day window to redeem all pledges. A 30-day window to redeem all pledges. Do that quickly in one minute. We'll do what God asked me to do with the green card. Our Father will come and bless us. Baba, why you want to go draft one? And we'll prepare for a new encounter. I'll see what to wait till last one week. Tomorrow morning. Me a rola. But by the time you come tomorrow morning, you got to bamba la rola. Harati son. Thunder would have turned down. Mighty things would have happened. In the camp of your enemy, a lot of scattering will have happened. Where your blessings are, they will have begun to locate you. If I be a man of God, it will come to pass. In the name of Jesus. If you are sowing a seed of perfection, 70, 50, 25. 750 and 25. Make your checks payable to clam. This is the altar of glory. Altar of sacrifice. God honor sacrifice. Alone, by Bora. where she is now. sister is one coming. Far away in Texas. I'm sharing your testimony. As you have permitted me to do. You jump out last year. A miracle jump into you. I use you as a point of contact. To all these children of God that have jumped out to sow seeds. And I make a demand on the God of absolute possibilities that before they go back to their seeds, let miracles jump into them. The Lord is saying that we should encourage all the singles not to miss this opportunity, sir. Can you keen to it? Those who are trusting God for settlement and for the fruit of the womb, don't miss any of these seeds. Just come out by faith in the name of Jesus. You have had the word. It's a bar or not? Well, let's let's listen to something. I think something like this happened last year. I think you should take the microphone. Let her tell us what she had just said. Please listen, everybody. Praise the Lord. Sokwe is my friend. I invited her in Clam. So last year, she came. She, she took leave, three days leave, and came to the program. So, so what did you say has happened to her now? Today, she has put to bed. She put to bed last week of twin baby boys. <laughs> I'm serving a God of miracles. I know. Yes, I go. I'm serving a God. shadow of doubt that this is the year of settlement for all those who have suffered delay for all those who have been waiting for, for one form of miracle or the other for singles waiting to get married over the last three days you've had testimonies in this regard yesterday I still read a text message of the sister that said Ogunati Shep God has just given her a 50th bad day miracle of her husband. I am confident that all these things are witnessing to something big to, to happen, about to happen. And so I'm confident that this year there will be marriages galore. Amen. God is a God of fruitfulness. I am confident that this year an end comes to barrenness in your life. Those who have been delayed in childbearing, this will be your year of settlement. As you have had our Father and the Lord, sir, I would like you to key into this seed of perfection. Whether you are single or you are waiting for one miracle to happen or the other, delay in your business, in your career, 
appearance, in manifestation, you have been praying for five years, seven, ten years, and nothing has happened. Sow a seed to connect and collect your breakthrough. Even if you don't have 25, take a special seed in your hand. Apart from the offerings that you are doing, just key into this. And I pray for you all on this altar. Everyone that is sowing seeds of perfection, Isaac did it. He did not regret. Peter did it. He did not regret. The widow of Zerapah did it. He did not regret. David did it many times. He did not regret. The Shunammite woman saw this scene. She did not regret. The sister took where her sister did it. She did not regret. The sister in Houston did it. She did not regret it. Rather, they wish they had given more. I pray for you all. You will never regret great in life. Anyway. Hey, Where they have turned you down, they will begin to invite you to turn up. Hey, Where they have said no to you, they will begin to invite you with a loud hey, yes. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I prophesy that this will be the least seed you will sow. Hey, uh. For the God of abundance will bless you. Amen. Exceedingly and abundantly. Amen. Far above what you may ever Amen. ask. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, set you. Sow your seed. Write your pledge on your pledge card. Leave it on the altar. If you have it today, don't wait till tomorrow. If you have it tomorrow, don't wait till Sunday. Be quick to sow your seed. The Bible says it is better not to make a pledge. That make a pledge and not redeem it. For God has no regard for pledges of fools. There are no fools here. At so every pledge we make, let us be hasty to fulfill our pledges. If you have part of it, redeem it now. Redeem it now. If you have part of it, redeem it now. Redeem something as a point of contact today. The altar is very hot now. Let God use the anointing of this moment to begin that work of perfection. So something on the altar. After. You will see me in Germany with your testimony. You will see me in England with your testimony. You will see me in South America with your testimony. You will see me in South Africa with your testimony. You will see me in the United States with your testimony. You will see me in the UK with your testimony. I will meet you all around the world. And you will have good news to share with you. In the name of Jesus. Are we ready? Yes, Satan. Me crochet eli abaka sata. Rika brono seli gadala bo shata. Bring back that picture for me, please. Technical team. The picture I took with the couple. I want to tell you the genesis of what we are doing and why we are doing what we are doing. And back it up with the Holy Scripture. That's if you are Lord be. After I got home, I was reflecting on the testimony of the couple. I opened this picture again. My wife took the picture. I opened it on her iPad. I was looking at the picture. And I was thanking and blessing them. And the Holy Spirit asked me a question. He said, what is that man wearing? I said, a sweatshirt. He said, mm, sweatshirt. Sweater. And then he said, he said, what is the color? I said, color green. Then the Holy Spirit ministered to me. He said, when next you meet with my people? Tell them to bring green cards. So I began to research to find out what God wants us to do with that. 
and he assured me that the green card that you are going to bring will represent seven major miracles. Amen. That he will do in their lives. Amen. And that all I need to do to so ask them to bring the card. And while they are waving it, I will be prophesying the miracles. Amen. That he will begin to back it up. Amen. With his signs and wonders. Amen. That their impossibilities shall become possible. Amen. Amen. God has a great sense of humor. He tells you to wear a particular garment. He knows what he's talking oh about. Because he's the one who can turn ordinary clothes oh to healing garments. There's nothing he cannot do. He created the colors. And he made them for symbols. Also. So I want your faith to be alive. Receive every prophetic blessing by faith. Don't worship this green card. If you keep it, it's only for you to be using it to thank and praise God. To use it to remember the seven prophetic breakthroughs that God has already given and give thanks to God. Don't bow to the car. Not at all. That's not what this is for. But they are just prophetic symbols of your permanent settlement. Number one, the green card in your hand is a symbol of settlement. Amen. In America, you need a green card to set you. I, I prophesy to you. God will set you on every side. The green card in your hand. It's a symbol of open doors. Amen. Listen carefully, beloved. In the high places of life, in the very high places of life, metal keys are not used to open doors anymore. Card enough in They only use card to open doors. Henceforth. Begin to open doors of important places. If they lodge you in an hotel, and you have not been there, and they bring metal keys to you, you already know that it's probably a one star hotel. But if it is five star, even four star, what would they bring to you? A car. I prophesy on this one. Five star doors begin to open to you. Seven star doors begin to open. Yeah. When you open the car, you open the door. And you just touch it like this. It's always very difficult. It's always difficult. As if God wanted us to have an example. We came very late this morning. Why? It took us almost 10 minutes. Before we can load the door of that house, maybe the, 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 the heat has so much. We can lock it from the ground. We want to come up, but we cannot. And when people were here to come up, we need to begin to struggle and struggle. We have to go behind to lock. We have to pass through the back door. And it was so hard. We have to go to the green card. We just touch it. When you touch it, if you just do it, it is not to man. It is green. It is green. green. It is green. I prophesy to you on oh, this sir, altar. Sir, Miraculous doors begin to open to you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Number three. 
The green card in your hand is a symbol of fruitfulness. Jeremiah 11, 16. It says that the Lord calls you a new name. The name is a green olive tree. Amen. Fear and of good fruits. Amen. I prophesy you will be most fruitful from now on. Yes. 2016 is a year of fruitfulness. Yeah. Why do I believe so? 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 6 is equal to 9. The number 9 is a number of fruitfulness. 2016 is a year of fruitfulness. By the reason of the Greek card in your Fruitfulness becomes your middle name. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Number four promise of God to you. The green card in your hand is a symbol of life, health, vigor, and vitality. Receive all this in the name of Jesus. Number five, your green card is a symbol of newness. That which is new. Somebody in called green. When something is green. Oh, new. new. Oh, tutu, new. Green. Oh, green. Oh, oh, new. Don't oh, share the Lord. By Lulu, I will. Today, Learning. this year, it will make all things green in your life. It will make all things new in In the name of Jesus. Hey. Wave the green card. Number six, while I was doing my prophetic research into why God asked us to do this, I discovered for the first time in my life that as a matter of fact, green means money. Green means money. When you leave this place, go and do some research. You will confirm what I'm saying. Green means money. I look at one of the encyclopedia. It gives an example. It says that it's like when somebody says that I, I want a new car. But I don't have the green. He said, I don't have money. But because you are waving this green car, henceforth, henceforth, you shall have the green. At home, you shall have the green. Abroad, you shall have the green. The green will meet the green in your mind. You will have the green in diverse currents. In the name of Jesus. No wonder then that the American dollar, the world denominational currency, the currency that denominates the economy of the world, carries green color. I decree one more time. Because these green cars are in your hand. Green shall meet green in your hand. Yeah. Finally, mountain climb. Hear the word of the Lord. The green card in your hand. It's a symbol of a green light. Green light. That means authorization. It means approval. It means permission. Yeah. When the traffic light turns to green, you are authorized. You are permitted. You have approval to go forward. When you are bidding for a contract, and they tell you we have given you the green light. Can you hear me? Authorization. Proceed without delay. When you are expecting a breakthrough from somewhere, and your friend asks you, you say, I'm expecting the green light. And your friend told you, 
you know. Somebody told me this night. at the office. That yeah. the, from your office. What if we green light? That the green light has been given. Don't the phone. Don't you don't you go, make a call. By the call. reason of this green card, in your card I away. prophesy in the name of the Lord. Oh, sir, you have the green light. Amen. Amen. Authority to proceed. Amen. Permission to go forward. Amen. Approval to do it. Amen. Approval to get married. Amen. Authority to conceive Amen. and give birth to children. Amen. Permission to prosper. Amen. Authority to take up the contract. Amen. Permission to receive the blessing. Amen. Approval to go forward. Amen. To have accelerated progress. Amen. You have the license to marry. Amen. You have the license to break through. Amen. Green light says you are unstoppable. Amen. You have unstoppable permission. Amen. Unstoppable right Amen. to go forward. Amen. Because you have the green light, any demon that stands on your way, you will crush them to pieces. Because you have the green light, any Goliath that stands on your way, you will crush him to pieces. Amen. By this green light, go Amen. forward. Amen. Breakthrough, Amen. make it Amen. succeed, Amen. prosper. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. may the Lord bless you. Amen. May the Lord keep you. Amen. May He make His face to shine upon Amen. you. May the Lord lift up His countenance upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May the God of possibilities visit you. Amen. With all these seven major miracles of possibilities, Amen. may you be a testifier. Amen. On this clam mountain, you will testify. Amen. Internationally, you will testify. Amen. Amen. All over the world, you'll be testifying. Amen. And about this time next year, according to the time of life, if Jesus Christ tarries, Marush Kateli Avasata, Ibrandeli Ketori Avasata, the one that says the loudest amen here now, we will stand on this altar amen. to share your testimony. Amen. In the name of God the Father, amen. in the name of God the Son, amen. in the name of God the Holy Spirit, amen. in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout out, amen. 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 In Jesus' name, settle. A Goliath killing, hallelujah. Hallelujah. A God of absolute possibilities, hallelujah. Hallelujah. A victory at last, hallelujah. Going for war, hallelujah. We are going for war. For the Lord is not the truth. We are going for war. We are going for war. We are going for war. Amen. Amen. Wherever you may be, if you keep it over, I want you to stand up, please. And shout, thank you, Jesus, seven times. What you go? What you go? Thank you, Jesus. 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 Be seated for one minute and plus seconds. What can we say to our almighty God? Please don't go away now. God has done us well. Shall we stretch our hands to Pastor Lekki and say, may the Lord bless you more. Honor you in the name of Jesus. These three days have been wonderful. The Bible says in Matthew 10, verses 41 and 42, he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of water, only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall no wise lose his reward. You will agree with me, beloved, that a prophet has, has been sent unto us. What can we do to connect to this grace upon his life? Those of you watching online, you give online and specify Pastor Lekis and Luis. I want everyone to give a prophet reward to this servant of God. Everyone to give unto this servant. All the pastors, geos in house, let's sow seeds into his life. Take your checkbook, write Pastor Lekis Shanusi. And please find a way to this altar. I want to pray for you. 
Let's bless the God of Pastor Lake Shall you see? Don't say the seed is small. If you if God bodies to give you a million, write a million. Half a million, write a, half a million. If it's five million dollars, write five million dollars. As much as God bodies you. But ensure you bless this servant of God. I will ask Pastor Aromalara to come up one great servant of God. God is using the LCCG. And the Lord is using him all over the world to be ministering songs while we come to this altar to lay the seed, the seed to the prophet down. Come and see what God will do. Join me in welcoming Pastor Asho Aromalara. Please begin to greet in the name of Jesus. Let's give, let's give, let's give. Just come, come with your seed and lay it on the altar. As you are coming, begin to prophesy, Lord, as I give unto the prophet. Just lay it on the altar. Say, as I key into the grace of God upon Pastor Lake Shanu, see, this is what I want from the Lord. Just lay it, lay it on the altar, lay it on the altar. Go on. Just lay it on the altar and go back, please. Because of the crowd, please. Praise the Lord. I will never be ungrateful to you, 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 Lord. Yeah, I will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. 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 Hey, we will never be ungrateful to your love. Bless the prophet of God. Let's show our love unto him. That we appreciate the grace of God upon his life. He wonderful servant of God. Write his sin on the shed. Oh, we will never be ungrateful to you. All the currencies of the world. Bless the prophet. Ah, we will never let's be ungrateful let's spread, to let's you, spread. Lord. Blood for God bless you, dear. Ah, we will never Online be givers, ungrateful may the Lord bless you, dear. Oh, we will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. We will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Everyone who needs back, we will never be ungrateful to I will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. I will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Hey, we to you, Lord. Ah, we will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. I will never be to you, Lord. Oh, we will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Bless the prophet. I want you to the ministers help us. The crowd are many. Can you do something? Take basket to that side. I will never be ungrateful to you. You are blessed in blood for God is watching you. He's lifting you up. We will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Right on the check, Pastor Lady. We will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. We will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. I 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 will never be Ah, we will Bless never the prophet be ungrateful of the living God. God. Yeah, Connect to the grace of God upon his life. I will never be ungrateful God bless you, the man from oh, Germany. We will never be Austria, God bless you. I will never be ungrateful to you. Oh, I will never be ungrateful to you. I will never be ungrateful to you. Oh Lord, we feel a major load in the heart. Oh, we will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Oh, we will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Oh, we will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. 
Every minister of God, I want you to connect to this place. If you don't have the seat, you can take the platform and make the commitment there and state that this one person only can receive. Oh, we will never be ungrateful to your love. Oh, we will never be ungrateful to your love. We will never be ungrateful to your love. Aye, raye, ninu, aye, raye. We will never be ungrateful. I will never be ungrateful. Oh, we will never be ungrateful. Oh, we will never be ungrateful. We will never be ungrateful. Oh, we will never be ungrateful. We will never be ungrateful. Thank you. Thank you. We will never be ungrateful. We will never be ungrateful. Oh, we will never be ungrateful. We will never be ungrateful. Ah, we will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Ah, we will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Oh, we will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Ah, we will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Oh, we will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Ah, we will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Oh, we will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Oh, we will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Oh, we will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. We will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. We will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Oh, we will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Oh, we will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Oh, we will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Oh, we will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. We will never be ungrateful to you. We will never be ungrateful. Shall we rise up, lifting our green cards unto the Lord once again? Begin to wave it. Begin to wave it unto the Lord. Now, as you are waving the green card unto the Lord, begin to bless your destiny. Bless your husband. Bless your wife and children. Mention their names. You can pray your native language. Lord, wherever I appear, let green light. Be on for me. When you go for that visa, green light. You go for that contract, green light. Speak to your destiny. I want to see those who love themselves. Just speak something wonderful to your destiny. Green light in your health. When you are in the air, green light. On the waters, green light. In the car, green light. All our children in the secondary school, in the university, green light. Everyone, green light. Green light. Green light. In the realm of the spirit, green light. Say, I shall be like the olive tree. Prophesy, prophesy. Jeremiah eleven sixteen. Prophesy, prophesy. I shall be like the olive tree. Say, I will flourish. I will flourish. I will flourish. I will flourish. The Lord will increase my greatness. The Lord will increase my greatness. And He will comfort me on all sides. Psalm seventy one verse twenty one. Lift it up. Green light. The Lord shall call me by a new name. By new name. Olive green. Olive green. Olive green. I want to see that Jeremiah eleven sixteen. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Jeremiah eleven sixteen. Put it on. The Lord call you by a new name. A green olive tree. Fear of good of goodly fruit. With the noise of a great tumult. He has come to fire upon it. The branches of the are broken. Say the Lord, we made me a green olive tree Lord, with my tree. family members. With my family members. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Don't forget, this Sunday, we are commencing five Sundays of deliverance. And on that Sunday, this coming Sunday, the book we are using is Victory Over Repeated Circle of Problems. Then it's a special day for those who must marry this year, the singles. Make sure you are in that service beginning from 8 p.m. here. Yeah. Tomorrow, oh Lord, said to me, anointing, two major anointing for creative miracles. Please bring sick people from the hospital here. Creative miracles. Even now, miracles. An anointing for, against anti manifestation spirit. It shall be wonderful. Amen. Now lift it up. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. the love of God, Amen. and the sweet treasury of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Abide with every one of us Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. He suffers no man to do us any wrong. He rebukes the kids for our sakes. 
saying, touch no man, not that do my prophet's name. No harm. Any power that amount to wage war against me, this meeting shall be wasted by the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are covered with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. I want you to write the blood of Jesus. Covered with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, my professor. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. One loud hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah. Love you with the love of God. See you tomorrow. Thank you. You have just listened to this message from the senior pastor of Christ Living Spain Apostolic Ministry, Clown, Pastor Wale Oladiyo. To order a copy of our video and audio messages, please call 01-794-9712, 0807-658-1733 or visit Clam Bookshop at Plot 126 Clam Avenue on Mole Ikeja. You can also visit our website at www.clamgo.org or join Pastor Wale Oladiu for the live streaming of our services on www.clamgo.tv. For counseling and prayers, please call 0802 121 4355, 0803 826 6330. And 0805 Join us for our Wednesday Revival Hour from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. every Wednesday and Sunday Glorious Service from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. As you come, you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Settled.